Hello, Colors. Welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. Starting with Lionel Messi, as we are going to be discussing on three factors that will influence Barcelona's potential offer to Lionel Messi. Then, secondly, in this video, talking about Frankie de Young, as the Barca superstar reportedly wants to stay at Barca for many, many years amid Man U Manchester United interest. We are also going to be discussing on that report. So, guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Set to become a free agent in the summer, Lionel Messi is unsurprisingly a man in demand. PSG are reportedly still in talks with the player of a renewal, while Barcelona too are keeping tabs on his situation, helping, hoping to stage a grand return at the Spotify Camp Nou. And of course, there is the prospect of leaving Europe. Inter Miami seem to be the team most interested in his signature. Why Saudi Arabian giants Al Iqdad also wants to sign him to reignite his rivalry with Cristiano Ronaldo. Fortunately for Barca fans, the Olio seems to favor clo um, closing his football chapter in Europe itself. There is still scope for that one last dance. However, any move for the Bas um, from Barcelona's side depends on three crucial yet still uncovered reasons as per Veronica Brunati. First, the salary cap. Barcelona are in a tussle with a league of potential signings in the summer, with league president Javier Tebas claiming that they will not be allowed you know, to bring in any new players in the summer. Joan Laporta, on the other hand, seems to be hell-bent on reinforcing the team in the summer. The only problem is that they are unsure about the salary cap for next season. After signing some big names in, the, in Robert Lewandowski, Jules Koundé, Rafinha, among others, Barcelona might not have a lot left in their wage bill to sign Lionel Messi, who is still one of the best paid players in the continent. Barca might need to let off some of the players in the squad, starting with the attack, which currently has at least two different misfiring forwards in Ferran Torres and Ansu Fati. The second reason, new commercial agreements. Why one way to loosen up the salary bill is to offload players from within the squad, another one could be finding new sponsors with the club. Last year, Barcelona reached an agreement with Spotify to sponsor the men's, the women's, and the training cage for the club, along with also getting the title rights for the Camp Nou. The club is currently playing without a sleeve sponsor, which could be one of the areas that could find sponsors. Further, since Barca will be playing at 60,000 Sita Olympic Stadium starting next season, while Camp Nou is undergoing renovation, they will lose out the potential. 30 to 40,000 tickets. The third reason, conviction from Laporta and Co. Eventually, even if Barcelona are able to raise enough money, sell enough players and find a place in the team for Leo, the final decision to sign in will depend on the board. Laporta has been rather vocal about Messi's return, but it seems unlikely that they will try to sign him in the summer if they see any potential downsides to that transfer. One of them could be his fit in Chavez's project, but the coach has already confirmed that will not be an issue. Of course, he said, of course, he's the best player in the world, the best player in history. He will always fit in the team. Therefore, the only potential problem remains the bad blood that Messi has with Laporta. The World Cup winner does not share a friendly bond with the Barca president anymore, which could get in the way of any potential move. His brother, Matthias Messi, also confirmed this, saying, We are not going back to Barcelona, and if we do, we are going to do a good cleaning. Among them, kick out John Laporta. <sighs> so, that's just the latest about the Messi situation. And those three reasons that we have just mentioned in this video, definitely, those, in fact, they are spot on, honestly. That move for Messi that the rumor mill continued to put on our ears, it's going to be very, very difficult and complicated. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very difficult, to be honest. And it's going to be almost impossible, let me say so. Because when we look at things critically, the fact that Messi does not still have a good relationship with our president, um, and also the fact that Messi is, is rages and everything like that is really heavy. 
it is very difficult to even imagine the prospect of Messi returning to this beloved club. So there is still that possibility that he comes, but it is very, very slim as it stands right now. So I think right now, I don't think we should be putting a lot of expectations on that. That's because honestly speaking, we just have to move on. There are some fans who argue that Messi returning to the club will be more of a distraction as the club is already trying to move ahead. They are already moving on from the dependency of Leo that this club had for a very long time. And now we are seeing ourselves topping the La Liga table since 2019 and well on track to even go for a domestic double, talking about the Copa del Rey and the league. So I think there's still a point there if Messi comes. It still be a good thing as we will see back our beloved and our best player in our history coming back to a club to end his career. But talking about that, the possibilities are very, very slim. Then on to the next story of discussion. Frankie de Jong has turned things around at FC Barcelona after a difficult summer and a hard start to the campaign. The midfielder had initially found game time very hard to come by, but is now one of the first names on Xavi's team sheet, having firmly established himself as a mainstay in the lineup. Meanwhile, Manchester United, who had come so close to signing the midfielder in the summer last year, continued to admire the Dutchman and wish to make another attempt to sign him before next season. However, they are set to face disappointment yet again, as Frankie de Jong has affirmed his desire to remain at the, the club for a very long time. Indeed, during an interview with RAC1, the Netherlands international said, I'm very calm here, very happy at Barca. I want to stay at Barca for many more years. This is certain to come as a music to the ears of Barca fans, as well as the club. Having tried to cash in on him last summer, the Blaugrana have completely changed their stance on him and now see the Dutchman as a fundamental part of the team. The Catalans do not have any intention to listen to offers for Frankie, and with the midfielder himself also keen on continuing the partnership, there seems to be no reason for worry. As for Manchester United, the Red Devils will likely have to look elsewhere to reinforce their midfield, as the look set to miss out on Frankie de Jong yet again. Despite signing Casimiro, Frankie de Jong continued to be linked with Manchester United. Eric Den Haag wants to reunite with his former midfielder. And looking at the fact that de Jong is having a great time of his life at Barcelona, there is no way, there is no way you can even imagine Frankie de Jong choosing to leave Barca to United next summer. We quite remember last summer, United were hot in his tails to bring him to the Old Trafford, but the player was hell-bent on staying. Even Xavi and Laporta were trying to force things out by putting Frankie de Jong on the bench or maybe playing him in an unnatural centre-back position. The player still won that competition by, you know, his stubbornness to stay. And here we are, we can see Frankie de Jong performing so well. And funny enough, Xavi is, you know, Xavi likes him a lot and always puts him in his starting eleven. Definitely, which means that Frankie de Jong is an untouchable in the team and there is no way he will leave the club anytime soon. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.